Hey, hey guys. This is part two. If, if you haven't seen part part one, go ahead and watch this, the video before you see this. Right now, we're gonna be going on with his body now. Unfortunately, Becca can't keep him. She's on active duty in the army. Right now, it's gonna look. Right now, we're focusing. Like Alright, I'm Jeff. Nice to meet you. Hello, Porto. You're kind of shy, aren't you? Becca hands Porto over to Dogtown's head vet tech, Jeff Popovich. <laughs> She's done everything she can. Well, it's always hard to leave a dog, but knowing that you're leaving him in a place like this where he's going to be very well taken care of himself, it's a good place to leave a dog behind if you have to. Jeff Popovich and Dogtown trainer John Garcia assess Porto. You know, he's got scabs all over his body. Um, he's got dry spots behind his ears. You know, it's... I'm sure it's something that just is a constant annoyance, you know what I mean? To not get that relief. Porto's skin is so itchy and inflamed. Yeah, so there's some scabs. There's the extra thing. He's barely got any fur. Fur can protect these guys from the sun, so I mean, it can keep them cool. It can keep their skin from getting burned. It can also keep them warm, obviously. And we got it right here. All right, let's put the party out. Jeff fits Porter with a plastic collar to prevent well, him from biting himself. Make it. I can't make it to the but the collar is only the first step. Porter needs urgent diagnosis and treatment. Next stop, Dogtown's Veterinary Clinic. Here's food. <laughs> when we return, John begins socializing the Hound Brothers. It's like looking in a mirror. And then, can Dr. Mike discover the reason for Porto's mysterious hair loss? Hey, buddy. We'll be right back with more Dogtown USA. There. This is his body. Now we're going to make the little legs. They're going to be stubs. We're going to be little stub legs. Right here. This is how low they're going to be. Time to make his to make both of his legs. Durable and made to last night after night. Dream tents are easy to set up because they fasten to the bed in seconds. It's that simple. To store them, you just fold and put away. It's important for kids to read, and dream tents make the perfect reading environment. Dream tents come with a personal reading light, so your kids can have their own magical reading nook. No parent wants his or her child to be afraid of the dark. Dream tents are comforting. Kids love to grow up and sleep in their very own dream tent night after night. You can go online to mydreamtents.com to see the whole selection of dream tents. You can order yours for $19.95, $7.95 processing and handling. And Kids, it's the cute Mario. What a sweetheart. Next video, I'm gonna color him in.